Hey Virgo, it's Goddess Puff, and we're about to find out what they don't want you to know. All right, we're jumping straight into it with the tarot for my Virgos. Spirit. What doesn't Virgo's person want them to know, Spirit? Last shuffle. What doesn't Virgo's person want them to know? Okay. Okay, so first card is the Three of Cups. They want a reunion, a reconciliation. Yep, the Magician card, they're trying to manifest it back into your life. They're trying to manifest themselves. And then Page of Wands. Yep, they're going to send that message. They're trying to manifest you back into their life. That is what they don't want you to know. I'm going to clarify this, but right off the back, this person wants you back. Okay, and with the Eight of Pentacles, they gonna work hard for it. They gonna work, and then the Knight, the King of Cups, I mean, sorry, King of Wands. This person's very passionate about you, and underneath that, they got the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So I feel like, Virgo, you dealt with this person before, like y'all dated before. And this person messed up. There was probably a lot of lies and deception, third parties. I feel like in this situation, you gave your all and this person played the field. And now this person wants to manifest you back. They're going to send you a message. They want a passionate new beginning with you. This person is very passionate about you. And they're trying to work. Re they're going to work really hard to get you back. I feel like this person has tried to do some work on themselves. But I don't really... I ain't really feeling them too much, but we're going to clarify this and see. But I'm going to show you right now. I split the deck and we got the Knight of Wands. I feel like in the past, it's, like I said, this person in the past was very uh, non-committal, a player. And now they want to come back. So you're definitely going to get a text from an ex. So clarify this, please, spirit, for my Virgos. Clarify this message, please, spirit, for my Virgos. Last shuffle, please clarify this for my Virgos. Wow. I'm going to just show you the overall energy right now is Capricorn. I mean, the devil Capricorn. So you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, another earth sign, but this person is obsessed. This per there, I'm be behind that is the two of cups, the hermit card, you Virgo, and then the five, I mean, the eight of cups. And then the Knight of Cups, this person is obsessed with you. You walked away from this person or they walked away from you. And now this person is obsessed with getting back with you. Clarifying the Three of Cups is a judgment card. You cast a judgment on them. Also, they know that trying to reunite with you will put you at the, the forefront of the situation. Because you're going to have to call a judgment on the situation when they do come through. And then the strength card, Leo. Yeah, this person is trying to gather all their strength to come towards you. Because they know you got the upper hand in the situation. As far as like, it's going to be up to you whether or not you accept them back. Also, I feel like you call... Ugh, my word. I feel like in the past, you definitely told this person about themselves. Because of some shady stuff they did. Clarifying the magician is the nine of swords. This person is full of anxiety, worry, and sleepless nights. Because they want to manifest you back. They they lost a good one and they know it. They got the page of wands here twice. So in the past, someone could have found some, some spicy messages. And that's what... That was the straw that broke the camel's back. I don't know why I'm using so many, like... Metaphors... <laughs> But, yeah, clarifying the page of wands is the two of swords. You block them. You may have their messages blocked. Yeah, the hanged man. Unresponsive. Yeah. They're trying to see things from another perspective. I feel like this person is putting in overtime trying to get back to you, wanting to reunite with you, wanting to be face to face with you. I feel like this person is sending you messages and you block them. It's like... Yeah, if you block someone, they're sending you messages and it's not coming through. And it's really, they. I mean, they sit there and wait like this. 
they sit there and wait for your um, response and they know they're never going to get it. They're trying to see the situation from a, a brighter side, but the center of this reading is the nine of swords. If you dealt with a person and they did you dirty, they are regretting it. I mean, they replay what you said to them when you called a judgment on them and they know with this reunion, you will call a judgment on them. I mean, they're they're grabbing and pulling together all they've got to reunite with you and send you a message. I mean, they are obsessed with the eight of pentacles in the devil. They lose sleep over this connection and they really want to reunite with you. This person could be younger or childish. I feel like this person, they, when you were with them, it was all about sex. Like, I mean, I just noticed that this person is coming up as just the page of wands. There ain't no queen or king in sight. That's, wow. This person is very immature, Virgo. And I don't think they've changed. I think they're just obsessed with getting you back into their life because like I said, they're very passionate about you. I don't see this person as worth the energy at all, honestly. But what they don't want you to know is that they are full of the nine of swords, energy, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights, possibly depression and anxious, so anxious to get with you. And that's what they don't want you to know is that they lose sleep over you, but they haven't changed. They are obsessed with you. I mean, they, they can't sleep. All right, Virgo, that is your reading. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.